Okay, I want to record this video to just show you the process of um, installing the 5TT gap indicator and expert advisor on your MetaTrader platform account. And so you will receive an email from our system that is similar to this. So we'll have um, two zip files or as the case maybe it might just be one zip file um, for the 5TT gap indicator and the 5TT gap trader. And so all we need to do then is first of all go to the MetaTrader platform account and what we want to do is to go to file, open data folder, and that should open a folder okay here it is and within here you have various folders but the one we are interested in right now for the indicator and the expert advisor is the mql4 folder so if you double click that to open it in here you will find that you have the experts folder and this is where the ea will be going to and you also have the indicators folder which is where the 5TT gap indicator will be going to. Okay, so now let's go back to the email. So with the email, I can go, let's go with the indicator first, download. And we can see right here on Chrome is where I have the downloaded file. And I clicked it to open. And within it, you can see that there is the 5TT gap indicator, and the version is right now version 1.2 and is .ex4. So I want to right click that, copy it, and then we want to go back to that folder from MQL4 from your platform. And that was the indicator. So we want to get into the indicator, double click the indicator, and we want to place it paste in there. Now, I already have it on this platform, so that's why it's asking me to either replace or have both there, but I'm just gonna say replace what was there. So on yours, you will not already have it, so you will just um, copy and paste it. Okay, and now we wanna go back to the MQL4 folder, right? waiting for the expert advisor. So if we go back in, go back to downloads. Oh no, we don't have this on download, so is the email we want to go back to. And so on the email, you can see 5TT gap trader. And I want to download it as well. And let's wait for it here. And we can see it here on Chrome and that's it there. So we double click that to open it. And so with this, I have made this password protected. Um, and so you will receive an email as well with the password to put in here. So once you have the password, you just put in the password and just okay it. And what it will do is it will open the folder and give you access to the EX4 file for the 5TT gap trader. So you copy that and go to the MQL4 folder. Then you, for the expert advisor, you wanna go into the experts folder and you want to paste it. And as you can see, it's pasted now, so it is within it now. So it's within that folder now. So here, it means that you now have this on your platform. You will notice that when you, you will notice that when you look for the expert advisor here, I can't find it here. 
That is because you've not refreshed this yet. So there are two things you can do. You can either shut this down and, and open it again and it will automatically appear. Or you just right click up there and refresh. And you can now see the 5TT gap trader. Same thing with the indicator. Just right click at the top indicator, the top folder and refresh. Boom, and you will also have a gap, 5TT gap indicator version 1.2. Okay, so let's get to setting this up. You want to have a clean chart, don't you? So let's get this. Typically, I run this system on only the daily chart. So seek to only run this on the daily chart. So I will change this to daily chart. And you want to set this up for about 16 currency pairs, and you have to do this on each of them. Um, but we will set up one, and what we will do then is to copy that template and just place it on 16 other charts. Okay, so you should already have on your system this chart template, but if you don't, just go F8 on your laptop or your computer, F8. And these are the settings you want to use. So pause this video and set up your chart to have these. So you can change the, the background, you can type it in. So I can go white smoke and that will give me the white smoke. If, I, if it was something else, I would say, let's say red. You can see that's changed to red, but I want white smoke. So that's white smoke. The next one, you go gray, gold, green, maroon, chat to use, crimson, black, lime green, and so forth. Okay, now, and so you now have this set up this way. If you don't already have it on your system, just save this template. I have it already saved as blank, but you can say save template. And you can just say blank. I already have it, but this is what you do, blank, save. Yours will just go if you don't have it, but mine is asking me do I want to replace it? And I'm just gonna say no on that. Now what that helps you do is say, for instance, you have this chart here. I can, or let's open a new chart like that, say so. Um, and we get this to the daily time frame. Now that's the black background and everything is green. I just need to apply my blank. And you can see I have my blank now. I can zoom it up. So I have a blank now on Euro USD. And so what you then need to do to apply the indicator. So let's go apply the indicator first. So within your navigator window, you go indicator, you find in the 5TT gap indicator. You can drag and drop double click or right click so i'm just gonna double click and it places it here and what it tells me there is um you can use the default what, what is here now just use the default of it and i wanted to show the gaps true um candles back 2015 the gap size is 15. i don't want you to use alerts because i'll be using the automated system and i just go okay so now you can see that we can see the gap setups all across the chart, 2,000 candles back. So we can see that, okay? So that's the indicator setup now. And we want to get the EA. So the same thing, open the expert advisors. That's your 5TT gap trader. Double click it and then it opens up about common and inputs now the key thing here as well is to make sure that enable alerts are there and you have enabled allow live trading so that must be enabled and now we go to inputs enter risk per trade this is how much of your account balance should be risked per trade here the default is one percent you can use less than they can use smaller than that the 1% is the default here. 
the gap size before the EA takes a trade is set at 15. That is 15 pips. So just like the indicator, if it is not up to 15 pips, there will not be an indication. So also if, there, if the gap is not up to 15 pips, you will not have a trade. And so in this case, the gap is 33 here. The gap was 18 there. Okay. Um, use partial close. If this is set to true, the use partial close simply means that the EA will close 50% of the trade at a set level. In this case, it's set to 15. And I've set to it to close 50% of the trade. You can change this to close 25% of the trade in 25 pips or 50 pips, whatever. But my default is I want to close 50% of my trade. I want to be out 50% of my trade when I'm 15 pips in profit and that's it so once everything is is entered the way you want it and for me it's just go default um, at least as a start and you can make changes later as you get experience with the system you can then go OK and boom you can see it tells me here that your EA is disabled enable auto trading you can also see out here that the emoji face is frowning so it is not happy um, and it's telling you please enable auto trading you can see this button this button here it shows that the auto trading is off so just click on it to enable it and when you look here the emoji is smiling if you toggle between time frames that error message has disappeared so that's awesome so the EA is now ready to go and that's it set. And it should be on a daily time frame. Now you've applied it on this chart, you need to do this for 16 more currency pairs. And I'll list out the 16 currency pairs you need to put this on. So you just need to again pause the video once it appears on the screen, take note of them, and what you need to do is just apply the in the, the template the way I will show you now okay so that's it here i want to save that template i want to save the template and i want to save it as 5tt gap auto system or auto trader let's say auto system because it has the it has the indicator as well and this is version 1.2 right no 1.1 here on the auto trader so let's leave that as 1.1 so same thing. So we have this now. It's set up on Euro USD. Now we want to place the new chart. So go on to here, add chart. We select GBP USD, and you can see by default that is on the hourly time frame. We want to change it to the daily time frame, and now we want to go to the templates and we want to apply the 5TT auto system. So all that setting will just be applied directly onto this new chart and you can do the same thing again go open usd jpy change it to daily time frame apply the auto system boom that's it good to go let's try one more aud usd daily time frame apply and that's it you ready to go and you can see the emoji smiling and that's on auto trader eventually when you finish that the final thing you should do because this is again a very key step is you want to save a profile that contains all the 16 17 16 17 currency pairs whatever it is and then you want to go here just where you see the default here is one way of going there so you can go default and you can see these profiles here you want to save this as a profile the other way to get to it is to go to file profiles and i want to save us again you want to save this as 5tt gap system that's it okay and that's you now good to go so for whatever reason, if the system shuts down and then you it brings you back to default, 
and the EA is not on the default. You can see now, yeah, it's changing to default because I, I selected default. Now, what you must take note of is once you change profiles, do you notice that the auto trading has been shut off? So don't forget that when, what for whatever reason, you change your profile, always ensure that you enable the auto trading again. So let's go back select 5TT gap system down there and boom it will place the entire chart the way we set it up and it tells me now that my EA is disabled and all I need to do is enable it now the reason why you get this this will not wipe would not go away until there's a new candle or until you change the time frames yeah, but still make sure you have it on the daily time frame. Okay. And that's it. That's the setup um, from downloading it from your email to installing it on your MetaTrader platform. I hope it's quite straightforward. Stop, pause the video, try it. If you have any questions, um, please come back to me and, um, and I'll be, as always, happy to help. Okay. Until next time, I wish you a great trading um, period. Um, stay disciplined and be successful. See you soon. Cheers.